Hello guys, in this little uh, video here I want to show you how to make our walkthrough um, how to that, do that in uh, Revit 2015 and um, as you can see here I have my little house here where I'm, uh, I'm uh, decorating it inside you can see this uh, rendered picture I made here I want to make a, a walkthrough along this path and going around this table and, and perhaps in the kitchen uh, <coughs> to make it uh, a bit more interesting and um, what I do, uh, first of all I open my plan view and my side view and uh, since I know where exactly the, uh, the walkthrough is gonna go like like here I have opened this side view, uh, I think it's, it's even better to see it there so you can go up in the view tab and select here or in the first icon there uh, select the walkthrough <coughs> and uh, then you um, you also have selected this view uh, of course and then you place the first uh, point where you want to do the first key point and as you can see here this is something I don't, don't mess around with too much you can here you have the, the levels of where you're starting in this uh, my, um, first level here and this is your <coughs> target elevation uh, the, the height of the camera the perspective is how close or how far away uh, you are looking this if you, you take it as a scale don't do that just take this perspective I think it's that's the best uh. so uh, the first key point and then you just uh, place some some key points uh, we can always change them later and I will show you how so uh, so let's just um, play place this um, this key point here something like this and now we have this uh, five or six uh, key points and you can uh, select finish walkthrough up here then we have it uh, here as you can see and the, the elevation is this uh, 750 above level one as we have here if I zoom in a bit you can see this is uh, this is the living room and stuff so let, let's um, first of all uh, I want to uh, let, let's open the walkthrough first of all if you go down here you have the this tab here uh, when you make the walkthrough you don't have it if you don't have uh, made any uh, then this is uh, walkthrough one it's probably called also in your case um, let's take this uh, view down here um, this is the end of the walkthrough where we are stopping, um, we're showing here, we can change that in a second uh, you right click um, this walkthrough here and show camera then you will get shown what camera you have here and then you can press this uh, button up here to edit it and we are now in the edit walkthrough you can also, this tab, remember it's up here uh, because sometime you will get away from this and you can always check this if uh, you have it open uh, let's go back to frame number one <coughs> the start key point, you can also select the key points and again uh, yeah. First of all, I want to show you this. <coughs> Every time you make a walkthrough in Revit, you have uh, it makes it makes it of uh, 300 frames total and uh, 15 frames per second. This is uh, standard for Revit, and it takes 20 seconds. This uh, this time of the walkthrough, and the, this is the time of the exported uh, walkthrough, not how it is in Revit uh, necessarily. But um, if I, I want to, uh, the first thing you need to uh, think about is when I export this walkthrough as a video file, will I have it as uh, how good quality want, do I want? Uh, the, the clever guy says uh, under 15 is not good, 15 is, is okay. Uh, what I always do is uh, I make it uh, 30 and it doesn't change now, but let's open it again and you can see now it only takes 10 seconds. This is only a 10 second long uh, walkthrough when I export it. So. I figured out I want 30 uh, frames per second this will give a good quality then I need to raise this uh, total frames in order to make it longer so let's say 900 to make it half a minute uh, and, uh, we do it there now it's half a minute <coughs> then now we have uh, figured out we wanted to have this time then we close this I will get back to uh, this speed in just a second but let's close it for now okay now we have to walk through here Click this. Uh, you can see this is the active camera mode. You have it up here. This is uh, good to remember the, the, the options you have here. Your active camera mode. You have the path. How you have to pass. If you're thinking, oh, I want it to be a bit more like this. Uh, that's actually what I wanted. Uh, we don't know yet because we need to check uh, the, the the video itself. And and you have add a, an add and remove a keyframe. So that's pretty simple. Let's get into how to adjust it. Let's say we want to start to look at the furnitures. For example, this is just an example I'm making, but and you can see here um, we have here. This is how we are looking. 
that's why I have this side view because then here you also have the active camera mode because we have chosen it over here. So we can lower it down so that we um, we are having it a bit more centered because we have we have the camera a bit higher. So let's look down and at the stuff, uh, something like this, and uh, we actually want to start like this. Then you can go to the next keyframe. Now it the walkthrough is away, so click up here. Uh, next keyframe. You can also go one frame ahead, but the keyframes decide the, the camera angle. So let's uh, take these. Um, and and I, I want to do like this because the camera will go fast here and we can change it in a bit. But let's say we want to look at the, again, the kitchen here and a bit down. I will do the, the last year a bit, bit faster. Uh, again, a bit down in all of them. That's... Uh, uh, sorry, like this, and I'm keep focusing on uh, on this while I'm walking, on the um, <coughs> the kitchen itself um, as the, the the anchor point, or how to say, to keep the walkthrough steady also because this is perhaps not a good walkthrough. Uh, I will get also get back to that later. And uh, whoops, previous, like here, change it down a bit also. Yeah, something like this. You can you can always check it down here. Um, I also want to show another thing, and and the reason why I have not changed this, uh, I will say, I uh, just take the last one also. Something like this, and then uh, we will look into uh, in, at the sink or something like this. Uh, we cannot see it here, so let's change it down. It perhaps you need another elevation also. I'm just working with this, uh, but it's a bit more difficult. Perhaps you could. Uh, split this here and have an elevation here or something. <coughs> so we have two elevations from each side. Now we have to walk through here. Uh, let's quickly talk about this. Um, again, I changed this. Uh, I want to show you the walkthrough now, so I will change this so it goes a bit faster on my computer. Uh, back to uh, square one. Uh, number one of uh, 150 frames now. Uh, but uh, This is the walkthrough. Let's uh, press play. Let's take it up here. Play it. And I will sip my coffee while it's uh, <coughs> so sorry for that. I have to drink the coffee while it's hot. But here you see um, see um, the walkthrough, and this is um, how it is now. And, and, and this is also where you see what kind of changes you want to make. And uh, and this is look like uh, we're walking in the kitchen. So that's okay. But in the start, it went a bit too fast. I think um, if you you look at here, this this will go perhaps a bit too fast according to this being a straight line looking at the same point. So this brings me back to, uh, and you can cancel it down here, let's do this now. Uh, yeah, but first of all, before I say that, you can change this, um, this point here so you get a bigger uh, view. And you also, if you look here, this is how, uh, this is how far we're looking. My, my project here is not so big, so therefore the, the camera is um, getting everything. Uh, but if I only were to do like this, uh, I believe you can see it here. You can see that I cannot see everything, so this is uh, perhaps not a good idea. Up to you to make. But back to this. If you change change this uh, something like this because you're thinking, okay, I can see everything now. That that can be a good idea, and uh, it can work also. But you might get some strange strange angles. And if you look at uh, this, I have a walkthrough here with the kitchen. Let's just play it while uh, this is actually where we are making the walkthrough. But if you look at these um, lines here. This is because uh, this angle I was talking about here, it, it's probably more like this in my case. So I will get these black spaces according to my screen. Uh, <coughs> this is not... So, so what you need to figure out is what kind of screen you, uh, you want to show this at. Or if you just want it to fit the most screen, you, you don't change this at all or change it in the same uh, height and length size. Enough about that. Let's get back to uh, we have this our walkthrough here, and you, in this case, uh, you know what? Let, let's do something like this. Very quickly, press play here. You can see this goes fast. I hope you can get the idea of this going fast. And here we have this steady target. So what we want now is to um, actually to um, make the walkthrough a bit more smooth. And uh, how we do that is up in this tab here. Let's make it. Let's leave it as 150, but I will make it higher later. You have this uh, called uh, uniform speed, meaning that all these um, keyframes you have here, all these keyframes here, it is the same speed for the camera. But if you have different, 
different angles uh, according to, to to this line. The camera itself will the picture will move faster in some places than other where we are fixating on. And it, I hope you, you you follow me here. Um, <clears throat> it's actually not that uh, hard. Um, so so what we have. Um, we have this uniform speed, and let's say this is uh, between keyframe one and two. So, so what I want uh, perhaps is to change the speed. Let's change this to zero point two here, because then we will slow the, the, the. I believe I need to change this also. I'm I'm really not sure about the end and the start and the end. And I believe it, the actually one we need to change is uh, is this one. We will test it out also. Um, so, so first of all, let's let's uh, test this out. See um, how it it will look in the walkthrough when we play it out. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, my bad. I made a little mistake there, but no, no harm's done. Let's uh, do it over. What I did was this keyframe to this keyframe. This is where it uh, slows down. So when it says uh, keyframe two, meaning from keyframe two and onwards it will slow down so let's speed this up to 1 and let make this uh, 0 0.2 this is just 0 0.2 is just an example you can actually see this uh, will change also so what happens now is that the first part slows down rest of them slow up uh, uh, not slow up uh, goes faster <clears throat> so if you want um, first of all let's, let's look at this uh, you can see here now it's uh, actually okay. I can actually see the furniture, so I'm not getting seasick. Uh, and and then it will slow up when uh, sorry for, for bad English. It will speed up when we come to around this point here. Yeah, you can see this. And now this is actually going too fast. So so how do I change that? You might think. Um, well, we go up here. The the thing is when you start to change this and you have this longer walk through, it will get more difficult. Uh, you need to be a bit more skilled when you play out with it. So, so perhaps a s single line with just one curve is, and then many walkthroughs could also be an, a good idea. But else you need to change these frames, because what happens is if when I slow this down, the time, the total time is still will uh, always be decided from this parameter and this. Of course it will. Uh, and and since this is uh, fixed as the point of what video you want to make, this is the only. Uh, options you have to change the time and since key point number one goes faster the rest of them will of course go uh, sorry the other way, way around since uh, key point number one goes slower as we wanted it to the rest of them will go faster so therefore you need to make more frames um, and then you also need again need to perhaps adjust this because uh, you don't want it then this will perhaps be too, too slow now so, so this is um, these parameters. I cannot give you the final answer, but you need to, to play around with this in order to get the best walkthrough. And remember one thing: um, when you make this uh, this walkthrough here, and you're looking it at your computer, this is not the final walkthrough. This is not the speed of the final walkthrough. If I'm doing like this, realistic because this looks good, it takes a second here, and I can drink some coffee again. <coughs> Sorry. If you look at this. Uh, uh, looks good. Uh, then let's let's press play. It says that it takes five seconds. Uh, I think no, it, it takes a bit longer now. But but still, th this is my computer uh, rendering using memory. This, so the speed here uh, or the total time will take longer here. So this is not the the, um, the exported walkthrough. Remember that when you make it. So perhaps just keep it in in hidden line and be sure to get the right walkthrough before you export it. Enough about this, let's get into... Uh, we ha I have showed you how to change the camera also. Then what's left now is how to export the, the walkthrough. <clears throat> and it's uh, rather simple, go up in this uh, icon here for Revit. And to export, like you have your uh, DVD files and other stuff for pictures, you can um, down here select the walkthrough. And uh, it says this because uh, I need to be sure to stand in the walkthrough. This is uh, important. Double click this uh, like I just did there. Down again into image and Im uh, animations and uh, walkthrough. Now this is uh, where it gets funny uh, because uh, now we will start to export the walkthrough as uh, how we want it. Uh, first of all you have this uh, all frames which most of us will take but you also have a frame range um, and uh, the frame range you can uh, if you want to make a rendered uh, walk to full rendered uh, 
you, you perhaps want to set this down to 1 to 30 and split the video up in uh, more sections because it, the memory process of your computer perhaps it cannot uh, handle all this um, handle all these uh, frames so, so you need to mix it back together in, in Movie Maker but for the normal people here uh, we, we just take all frames um, <clears throat> 30 frames per second you can change it here again but it's better to uh, make the decision in the program I think you can but you can change it here look at this if I do like this 25 then this will change uh, you have the option here to wireframe hidden line shit blah 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 whatever you want perhaps uh, the first uh, if you want to make a, a bit more difficult perhaps take a hidden line first but you, you can take a realistic like this it will change here in a second or oh, when I press ok here at least um, and and this ex exactly here if you know your screen is uh, 2040 that fits your screen then you uh, press here you can see you get this 1360 this is and then that doesn't fit your screen and the reason it doesn't uh, is because you have played around with in this picture uh, stretching uh, stretching uh, this picture or something so so if you do that with all your walkthroughs it, they will get different so in order to get the same you you need to keep this the same um, again like I showed earlier this include the uh, time and day stamp take it off it doesn't look good um, this is actually how to um, to export it you press ok to this and then you can save it as, as something and uh, you know what I would actually try and make a, a, a better walkthrough and export it because uh, this will not look good so let's go down here show camera again uh, for the practice and we can see here I did walkthrough let's go into this and let's say it to be uh, 1200 uh, let's do that and look at the time 40 seconds I believe it will become here you can see that yeah and you know what let's try it and do it like this and uh, and this keyframe here will speed up to 2.5 and I will show you to walk through how it uh, will become uh, here in the end so I will uh, I will export this walkthrough as a video and I will show it and uh, that's it for this little uh, tutorial so uh, yeah just a second and, uh, the walkthrough is uh, finally made here guys and uh, let's have a look at it and you can see here it's um, this is how it, it goes. We slowed it down here in the start, as I remember. Uh, it took around uh, bu 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 it, it took me one actually one hour to make this uh, walkthrough. It's uh, it, it's okay. Uh, I, I made the screen size pretty big so so that um, the pixels looks uh, a bit better. And this is of course a realistic view, as you know. And I will end the video here, guys. And if um, you like this uh, little video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you could use it, or if you have any other stuff you can write it in the comments and else I will see you guys another time so uh, thank you guys and see ya